Today I'm going to show you everything you need to know to get started using the Acorn app on your phone right away. So you just want to navigate to wherever you download your apps. In my case, I'm going to go to the App Store and you're going to search for Acorns. All right. And then you're just going to tap on the Get button, double click to start installing and it'll begin installing. Now Acorns is an app designed for beginners who want to invest some of their extra money and be able to view all of their portfolios all in one place. And I'm gonna show you how to get all that set up. So we're gonna click on open and it's gonna take you to this screen here to either create a new account or if you have an existing account, you can log in. I'm gonna show you from the very beginning and we're gonna create an account. So we're just gonna type in our email and click continue with email. Then it's gonna ask you to create a password. So I'm just gonna type in a password here and then click on create account. And then it's gonna pop up. It's gonna make sure you're 18 years old. You've accepted all of the terms of agreement. Just click on I accept. And then it's gonna ask you to enter your phone number. Once you enter your phone number, click continue. And then it's going to send a verification code. So you're just gonna punch that in. And this is just to validate your account. Next, it's gonna ask you a couple of questions to understand more about you. And then it's gonna ask you to enter your address. And then in order to verify your identity, it's going to have you enter your social security number. And then the next step is to link your bank accounts. And this is to add money into there and also use a feature called Roundup, which I'll get into more later. So you can either do that instant connection and you can select your bank and connect it that way. Or you could do set up manually and enter your account information in that way. Whichever is your preference, you'll link those. And then once you're finished with that step, then it's going to take you to a screen here. And you can see here that it's gonna give you several different options for the accounts. You can always upgrade later. So even with the bronze, it gives you the investing. You don't have anything with the families, connecting your bank, earnings, and some education stuff. So you can look through the features that they give you in each of these subscription packages and decide which is best for you. I'm just gonna start with the bronze and it's gonna ask you to continue. And then it's going to start setting up your investment account. So you click on continue. So it's gonna ask you a couple of questions here. So answer those as best they fit. None of those apply to me, next. And then it's gonna ask you what your employment status is. What is your net worth, continue. And then it's gonna ask you what your investment goals are. Again, this is just to get to know you better to help guide you better in your investments. I'm just gonna pick balanced invest growth and risk, continue. And then you can select what your education level is. If you know a lot about investing or very little, I'm gonna click beginner. Are you interested in investing for your kids? Again, this is up to you. If you have kids and you wanna invest in them, you can select that. I'm gonna do no for right now. And now it's just analyzing all the information about you to come up with the best portfolio options. And then it's gonna give you a recommended investment portfolio. Based on my information that I added, it's saying 20% bonds, 80% stocks. It shows you sort of the about the portfolio, all the different investments that it would make for you. And you can kind of see what it recommends. Again, your information is gonna tell you different stuff depending on the information that you add. I'm just gonna click next. And this is Roundup. So the way Roundup works is whatever bank account that you have linked to there, anytime you use that to make a purchase, to buy a coffee or buy a meal or buy a, a lawnmower, it is going to round up to the nearest dollar and invest that spare change. This is kind of a nice way to continue to add money into your investments without really thinking about it. You know, you buy a cup of coffee for $2.60, it's gonna invest 40 cents when it rounds up to $3, which is kind of a nice feature that you don't even have to think about it, okay? You click continue, and then it's gonna ask you the amount that you wanna invest each week. Again, this is sort of a passive way of not having to think about how much you're investing. You just set a small dollar amount or however much you can afford to invest each week if you wanna do that. I'm gonna skip that for now. Then it's gonna ask you if you wanna do an initial investment, a one-time investment to take a lump sum from your bank account and invest that. And again, you can select that or select other. Again, I'm gonna skip that for now. And then it has where you can set up a retirement account. If you don't have an existing retirement account through your work or through another service, you can also set that up with Acorn. Again, I'm going to skip that. 
And then it's going to ask you how you heard about this. I'm just going to put YouTube ad. And with that, you have your account set up. So first it's gonna pop up and ask you if you want to enable your notifications. Again, this is totally a preference on your part and that it's gonna take you a little bit of a tutorial here so that you can see what's going on. So we're just gonna quickly go through this, you go next. Across the bottom, you have investor for your future. So that's all your investments, easily manage your Acorn investment accounts, your retirement, your kids, all of that. Next, you have your money hub, and this shows you all the money moving into your investments account, recurring deposits, paychecks, all of that in there. It has the learning tab so that you can be able to learn and educate yourself about investing. That's a great feature. And then your earnings, and this shows you the brands that you can invest in and, and what you can earn through the Acorn app. And then up at the top, it has your profile button so that you can manage your personal profile and adjust your preferences and your settings and that. And then it'll show your potential. So you can see sort of how your investments are projected to a trend in the future. Okay, so we're gonna click done there. So when you first set this up, obviously this is a brand new account. So yours is gonna look very similar to mine in that there's no money invested just yet. So everything's going to be zero and the projections are going to be zero because there's nothing in there yet. But once you have money invested up here at the top, you'll be able to look at your potential and it'll show you the growth trend of your investments, which is always very exciting to see that in 40 years, average return of 8%, this is how much money I'm going to have in the year 2065, right? So that's going to be very cool. Now, first and foremost, if you haven't done these steps before or you wanna change these later on, we're gonna start investing. So you see right there towards the middle of the screen, you just click on invest, zero dollars there. And you've got a couple of options to turn on. The first one that I would recommend is the roundups. Like we were talking about before, this is how you would, if you make a purchase with a card, that it is going to just round up to the nearest dollar. So you can link any card that you use normally or that you want to use this for. Maybe certain credit cards you do, certain credit cards you don't. You can link that card there. The other option is to just transfer in. So whatever bank accounts that you have linked in there, you could just make a one-time lump sum amount. And then you could transfer out it. Once you have investments in there, you can then access that money out. But again, like any investment, I'm not a financial advisor, but the key is to let it there, is to leave the money in there and let it grow over time. And then below that, you see roundup settings. We're gonna go to turn this on. And what you wanna do is you wanna turn this on to automatic. And then that way, every time you use it, it's just automatically gonna do that. And then you can set how much you want it to round up by. To the nearest dollar is what I would recommend to just get the, the most out of that. Then if you wish, you can add the multiplier, which would take whatever it's rounding up to and either doubles it or triples it or times 10, whatever you want. And then here again, you can link the cards down at the bottom that you want there. Just gonna click save. Then below that, you see recurring. And here you click on the amount. And here you can change the amount that's coming out each week that goes into your investment accounts. You have to invest at a minimum of $5, but we could change that. Let's say we go to $10. And you can see up in the corner, it increases your potential. So this now increased that to 139,000. So let's say maybe we do $15. That goes up to 209,000. Again, over the course of the 40 years that you have in there. So if you have certain goals in mind, you can adjust that amount to whatever you want. We're just gonna leave that at $5. And then down below, it's gonna show you your portfolio, which shows you how much that you've been investing, how much it's growing your stocks, your bonds, and you can add more in there. It has some information about adding Bitcoin in there if you wanna do that. And then some of the same options that we just looked at. And with that, you're up and running and you can watch your investments increase and grow over time. I hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next one.